YouTube. What is good? It's your boy, Professor Rich, and welcome back to the club channel. If you're a first time viewer, welcome to the club channel. And don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and share this content and help grow the channel to its full potential. Right now, it's like three o'clock in the morning. But that's not stopping me. I'm on my purpose during quarantine. And I, I like to make content for you guys just to have some stuff in the vault. And before I start the, the topic for the day, I always like to begin my videos by saying thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you every single club member. Thank you everyone who takes the time to watch the content, support, keep in contact with me, ask me for advice, all that, man. That, that means a lot to me and being able to help you guys and you guys being able to help me is a priceless feeling and as you see in the background right here got my third trophy i'm collecting these trophies like pokemon badges and that trophy is the best interviewer ever um thank you for those who tune in on the live streams when i interview women this this is from you guys you guys told me I'm an A1 interviewer, so I got to give myself a trophy. So, shout out to my boy, Josh. I mean, side nigga of the year, best new YouTube channel, interviewer of the year, or ever, whatever you want to say. But the topic I'm going to be discussing today, if I always get too caught up on the intros, is a pretty simple topic, and I don't think this video should be too long, but you saw it in the title. It is how to get girls on social media and dating apps. And the concept of it is pretty simple. Um, you pretty much have to use hypergamy to your advantage, first of all. Show off your lifestyle and any success you may have. Or maybe you you living, living your life. And it, it's pretty much showing women that you do something. I mean, what, that's, women are interested in that. A, a very attractive quality that a woman finds in a man is that he has a life outside of her. The The number one thing most guys do wrong is that you, you, you get into a relationship or you start talking to a woman that is very attractive or maybe she's the most attractive woman that you've been involved with so far and you, you get too attached and that drives her up. You have to have a life outside of your girlfriend or a woman in your rotation. You know what I mean? And also, a, a big thing is, uh, for some reason, I don't know why I have to keep on telling you guys this, but for social media, you have to have post highlights, and a, a, a avi picture. You guys come to me asking, yo, bro, how, how can I get girls off of, off of social media and Tinder? First, you should be working on your purpose. But for the sake of this video, it's a, a most common question. Bro, you guys don't have any post or a, a avatar picture, bro. A profile picture. That's the first thing woman look at if you slide to her DMs, you like her pictures, you know what I mean? She's going to want to know what you look like. And when she goes on your profile, she's going to read your bio, maybe, and then see what kind of lifestyle you portray. You know what I mean? If you only posting memes and gifts and all that stuff, bro, you, you don't do nothing. And she's going to think you're a weirdo. She'll maybe block you or just not give you the time of day. And this is coming from someone who has met girls in the past on Tinder and on Instagram and on real life. And before you guys even try to get women off of social media, I need you guys to get rid of your social anxiety and learn how to interact with people in real life. Because having an attractive Tinder profile or Bumble or whatever you guys use, or Instagram profile, that's going to get her attention. But if you don't know how to talk to her in real life, you're going to come off as a weirdo. You know what I mean? And weirdos dry her up. I mean, work on your charm and work on having a life or having a hobby of some sort. And, bro, you, you guys really over overthink a lot of things. You know what I mean? 
your hobby does not have to be anything magnificent. Sure, um, Miami trips, Bentleys, Lambos, and stuff like that, that's that's a plus. I mean, that's going to be able to use hypergamy to your highest advantage. But, bro, if you read comics, you do computers, um, you, you go to the gym, you have photography, you have a YouTube channel, you have something, bro. It, it just has to be something to spark her interest. Like, ooh, what is that? I mean, like, I have a self-help channel that somehow turned into a fitness channel that somehow turned into, like, a dating advice channel that took all different avenues, bro. When women click on my profile, they watch my videos and be like, oh, that's true. He does understand women. Or maybe I don't disagree with that, but it's it sparks something. You know what I mean? She clicks on, she sees I have a website. She sees I have a decent following. You know what I mean? That sparks interest. And then if you read my bio, I, I talk about how I'm an entrepreneur. I'm in IT, blah, 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 etc. cetera. You, you see where I'm going with this? Another great profile is my guy, Ronnie Fargo. You know what I mean? He, he doesn't have too much pictures, but he ha I think he has like one picture. He has like a lot of followers. That's not really that important. But if you see his highlights, in his highlights, he shows his lifestyle. You know what I mean? You can tell that he does, like, e-commerce. He he does lavish, high-class stuff, bro. He's in the sections. You know what I mean? They get a feel of the person you are before they get to know you. And that's pretty much what, what, you're, what you're trying to do with that. You know what I mean? Maximize it to your highest potentials, bro. Like, you guys not having anything on there at all bro it makes you look like a, either a bot or a creep and that's no no woman's gonna give that a try you know what i mean um for tinder it's the same thing you have kind of less to work with with tinder but maybe attach the instagram profile so she can see some of the pictures of your lifestyle and make sure that you have a, a interesting bio I mean, my guy, Dimitri, I can't repeat his bio, but it's interesting. It gets to the point. I mean, and then maybe have pictures of you doing stuff. Like, like it's all about your lifestyle. Your lifestyle has to pique someone's interest. My guy, um, my guy, Vaughn, I mean, not Kappa. Well, he's a good one, too, but my guy, OFP, on, on his Instagram he has, like, he travels, he does cryptocurrency, he does stocks, he's an entrepreneur. He has all designer on, I mean, he he's in different different countries, different states. He's in front of foreign cars, I mean, he, he got the gold chains, the grill. That's using hypergamy to his advantage. So when people look at that, they're going to be like, oh, he's an interesting guy. That's what I need you to guys to get from this video. You have to be interesting. Either interesting or mysterious, or you just have to have a life. It doesn't have to be extravagant. If you collect comic books, there's going to be a woman out there that's into comic books and anime and stuff like that. But, bro, you, you have to have something. Something of substance and something that's going to pique your interest. And be yourself to a certain extent, but know which version of yourself to be. I talked about this in the Digging Your Grave Part 2 video. But it's... Look, be yourself, but also know that you, you need to be the best version of yourself. So when people tell you, Yo, just be yourself. Bro, yourself might be a fat, out of shape, lazy dude who just plays video games. You can still be that, but you might want to cut out the fat and lazy part. Bro, uh, I'm telling you this, the blunt truth. You can play video games, but if you're in the best shape of your life, you're automatically going to stand out from the other dudes who are out of shape that plays video games. You can't, you can't meet that stereotype. But, like, bro, if you want to be... In, like, bro, I'm a nerd. I like computers. I like anime. I like comics. I like Star Wars. You know what I mean? But I'm still thorough. 
know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm a little bit of both. I, I can tap into my nerd energy. I can tap into my gangster energy. I can tap into my comedic energy. I can tap into my artist energy, my music energy. Like, it's all about be, knowing who to be at that, that right moment. And it's like when when you at your job, you different than with, when you're with your homies. It's code switching, but it's just adapting to your environment. So I don't want you guys to think just because you like comic books, you can't get none. I mean, you you can get some, bro, but you just you gotta have other tools in your arsenal. But that's my video for the day. It, it kind of ran longer than I expected, but I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope this helped you. If it didn't, leave a comment, and I can we can we can go deeper into it. But appreciate you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And check out the website. Become a it's free to become a member, bro. Know what I mean, and you have access to other members. I have a forum feature. You can check out the merch, join the Patreon, whatever. But like always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Stay blessed up. Peace.